Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So hope you are enjoying the Python skill series so far. So we have covered so many videos in uh, Python skill series. Uh, we have implemented some of the machine learning models. We have seen some of the deep learning models. Now in today's video, we'll be basically creating a reinforcement learning environment and we'll be basically implementing the Q learning setup that we have seen in the conceptual video of reinforcement learning. So in the last video, we saw what was the Q learning approach, what are the mathematics behind it and what are the different concepts and terms which are there in Q learning. Now, uh, if you have any doubts regarding that uh, implementation video or the uh, conceptual video of Q learning, I suggest you to watch that video. And if you still don't understand that video, uh, then we'll do a small implementation of that Q learning in this video so you can have a better idea of what the Q learning algorithm is and how the different parameters or the entities fits into place. Okay, so for this uh, particular example uh, for Q learning, what we have is a we have an environment. So we always love to spend time with our families. So say we are at a park and at this particular park we have some certain locations. So the locations are R, then yellow, then blue and then green. So you have four different locations and there are uh, certain families who have uh, come to visit that particular place on a particular day. Now. Our major goal is to uh, design a taxi that is an autonomous self-driving taxi. Now in the real world there are uh, this kind of things there uh, but it's not full-fledged uh, out so that it can be made available uh, into production. So there are some issues with this kind of uh, models or with this kind of agents. So we'll be just having a, a touch base over these techniques how it is actually implemented just a small overview of this in this particular video so our aim is to create a taxi uh, which is this one so now this taxi here is not controlled by a human being but uh, instead it is being trained by a reinforcement learning algorithm so the algorithm or the technique that we'll be using is q learning quality learning means it has to uh, go to that particular location where the customer is or where the user is then uh, it has to pick up these many people or how many people are there and then it has to uh, basically drop at some particular location where the user has requested to it can be this blue location or yellow location or green location it can be vice versa so it can be one is to one so uh, there is only one smart taxi available at this particular picnic spot so that it becomes easier for uh, their pickup and dropping so we want to design this kind of thing using uh, reinforcement learning. So uh, what we have is we have a, a library. So that is called as Jim. So Jim is a, a open AI library where you can create different uh, reinforcement learning agents as you can see here. So uh, where you have different kinds of libraries and open environments that are available from where you can uh, build this now just mind you uh, the codes that we are uh, using in this are taken from this so uh, everything what i show it's not created by me just a demonstration of the pre-existing environment so from that we'll be just seeing how the uh, things are basically done and how you train these uh, agents in that particular environment. So you can see here there are different kinds of uh, scenarios or environments that are there. So you can find this source code from this particular website. Then many different things uh, that are there. 
lunar agent then uh, you have something like this uh, ant then you have a cart pole then you have a pendulum so many different things are there i suggest you to check this link out if you have any doubts regarding this or if you want to implement anything you know you can go here and just implement this okay so back to our discussion we want to design a smart taxi using q learning so how do we do this so we want to teach a taxi to pick up and drop off passengers at the right locations using reinforcement learning so we'll be using the q learning approach here so first we'll just initialize the variables and just we'll do a initial run how we can do this so for that we have to import certain libraries which are pertain to only reinforcement learning that is we import the gym library so in gym li library there are uh, pl pretty much uh, rich kind of other methods that are available so that you can build a environment and you can train a agent in that particular scenario and then we basically use in numpy library and then we have the pickle so pickle we have seen that is for object serialization and then uh, we input the os library for doing some input and output okay so first what we do is we just import this libraries and uh, we just initialize the environment here so what i do is from the gym library i am importing or calling the uh, make function so in make what i am passing is i am passing out a environment now this taxi v3 that is taxi version 3 is already pre existing so i am just using the already pre existing library which is present in the gym and i am making use of this and then i am trying to uh, train my reinforcement learning agent so that it can uh, pick up passengers and then drop them off at a particular location so uh, that i am storing in a variable env so you can see i have just printed the env variable it's a time limit env taxi env taxi version 3 so there are different versions of this environment like version 2 version 1 version 3 so they keeps on uh, updating different parameters and all these things now just mind you all the uh, other graphics and uh, all the constraints and obstacles which are there in the path of the agent are defined in this particular uh, library so if you want to see the source code you can see the source code we are just going over this how this particular scenario looks like then what i have is i just define a state so what i'm calling is uh, on the environment which is already there i'm resetting the environment so uh, why resetting is done because it resets the state of the environment as you can see here and returns the initial observation uh, so when you initially load this particular environment there may be something then you just reset it to the original state so that what previously it was there it will use those libraries and not the one which is updated at the very first run so we are basically clearing of the environments and libraries so that we can have a better training of the agent so we are doing everything from the scratch from this particular environment okay and i just run this and the state when i printed it uh, came out to be 332 now uh, we know like uh, in reinforcement learning our uh, basic building blocks are states and actions then we have rewards then policy and all these things so we'll have those things here so states are nothing but how many different states are there in that particular environment so that is 332 so now you might have observed this value keeps on changing yes this obviously keeps on changing because uh, dynamically it is being uh, updated every now and then so that's why you get uh, different values when you run each time so you have to just uh, so uh, it keeps on changing from lower number to higher number uh, 
uh, as and when you just run this again so it also depends upon the other parameters also so that is a kind of little uncertainty present in this reinforcement learning that's why you have to train this agents and models again and again okay so then we uh, do the observation space so from the environment we see the number of observations uh, there are uh, in total 500 observations in this particular environment and we just call the render method so render method is uh, used to just render the graphics so this is how the graphics or visualization looks like in reinforcement learning so as we have seen here so this is a diagram which is drawn by me just for a demonstration now here internally you have a red location that is here then you have a location g that is green y and blue so it corresponds to something like this and uh, you can see uh, as a demonstration of a game you have this kind of thing so this is in uh, two dimension how it basically looks like so what you basically can see here if you look here closely uh, this r and g both are just highlighted means uh, from one location you have to pick the passenger and on to other location you have to drop them so here in this case r is the pickup location and g is the drop location now if you ask me how did i came to know this because uh, i just read the source code so from there these things are already predefined so basically uh, this particular yellow thing which you can see here this is nothing but your taxi so the taxi can move in the left direction right direction top direction and bottom direction so these many different actions are possible by the taxi and the additional actions are like pick up so once the uh, taxi is uh, there at particular location say uh, when we do the geographical calculation of this uh, things what we observe is we get the latitude longitude so here say in this coordinate we have this uh, taxi at location 22 so this is one example so this particular taxi is at location 2 now uh, if this uh, passenger or these customers want the access of that smart taxi uh, will access their coordinates so say it is 4 comma 6 so first it has to make these many movements so that it will reach the particular uh, location where the passenger is so that's why we have this navigation so that is in the uh, top direction left direction bottom direction and right direction so these many navigations are possible in this particular 2d plane which you see so uh, here what we see is uh, it will first move to the left hand side then it will take the passenger and then it will uh, do some uh, right movements and finally it will drop them off at the uh, location which is g so this is how it looks render is basically used to uh, display the plot plot of that particular uh, iteration or the environment what you currently see so we just look at the state so we have currently 24 states so that is uh, from here and we see the environment again so that is the same thing which we see here okay so the possible actions which i said that is down so for down we have a variable that is zero for up we have one right two left three pick up four and drop five so this you can think of like say in your uh, mobile phone if you want to assign a caller tune so they'll basically uh, say like for this song you have to press one for the next song you have to press 2 for the third song you have to press 3 so for every action it is mapped to one particular uh, variable uh, or a number so that it can be easily accessed or the movement can be easily done so even in games also if you play different games using joysticks or the keyboard of your 
computer or laptop you can have this different kinds of navigations so these are the possible actions in that particular environment by which you can ma make different moves so the number of states uh, from the observation underscore space dot n so this is the environment variable that is present so you have to call this variable in this way only so it will print the states and the actions so i'll just print the actions so we have six actions so down zero up one right two left three pick up four and drop five so you have zero to five that is six actions and uh, this is the uh, environment that i am presetting to 150 and this is the render again so uh, what you saw here that is the same thing uh, that now what we are doing is uh, i am just changing the pickup location from y and the thing which you see here that is these things these are the barriers so this can be uh, considered as like some walls or some concrete uh, walls which are present uh, from where you cannot go through so you have to make some movements either in the top direction bottom left right and then you can uh, reach to that particular location where the passenger actually is so that is the basic constraint that we are putting into this else it will be a very simple example so all these things are defined inside uh, the environment variable so when we just imported this particular thing so in taxi v3 this kind of environment setting is already present we are just doing the navigation and we are just trying to implement how it actually looks like okay so uh, step is one particular uh, method which will give the probability of reaching that uh, state so currently uh, it is a one probability probability of one means passenger is there inside the cab and zero probability means passenger is not there inside the cab and there are some other variables which is false and 50 that we'll see subsequently when we do this so now what we want to do is we want to uh, look how this particular scenario behaves when it is done in a random way so for that we have to again preset the variables so first i reset the state so i call by dot reset then i have the uh, counter so counter is another variable which is initialized to zero for uh, counting how many directions that particular taxi has made and then g g stands for my gold state whether uh, the agent was successful in dropping the passenger at the correct location so here it is zero else uh, it will be uh, changed with some other variables with some negative variables negative rewards which are there and here the reward currently it is none because uh, initially so this is a boolean variable that we are uh, passing so that is false or uh, true so if it is successful in picking up the location from where the user is or the passenger is that will be a true and when it will drop off the passenger at that particular location again it will be true else in case of uh, driving the uh, passenger in between the paths this will be false so false means uh, the cab and the passenger content in the cab are currently in a state of motion okay so now what we do is we'll just uh, run a while loop so inside this while loop uh, we have certain rewards so reward is nothing but uh, where the passenger uh, has successfully got into the cab and they have reached their destination so if that is the case means the agent is successful in picking up the passenger from the source a and if it has uh, 
just drop them off at the correct location then we'll assign a reward as 20 so 20 is the highest reward that is possible in this particular scenario so here what we are doing is we are uh, writing while uh, reward not equal to 20 means uh, if that is not the case then uh, we want to initialize these many variables that is state reward done and info so these are some kind of uh, variables which are uh, present inside the step function so step function will need to uh, perform the action so what step function does is it will perform all the action at each step so at each step it will move into one state so from whenever you do the transition it is from one state to another state so that kind of single movements uh, is possible with the help of state and at the at every particular uh, state you have a reward so when you reach from state s to state st or st plus one you get a reward it can be positive reward it can be negative reward so it depends how the movement of the agent is done so uh, there at that place you get a reward some remuneration so that is nothing but your reward and then done uh, done can be uh, true only in two possible states uh, when it is there at the pickup location or it is successful in picking up the passenger so there the done value is true and when it has dropped off at the correct location indicated by the passenger then it can be true else in all other scenarios or, or at all at time places this is to be false and the information the current state of the uh, taxi or the smart uh, taxi where it is at particular location so that is the information and we are just encoding these everything into step function so this is nothing but the packing that we already know uh, from the basics and then we are uh, initializing the counter uh, every time uh, by one so whenever this particular action is done we have to increment the counter and also the reward so at each step you get some particular reward regardless it is positive or negative reward we have to train this every now and then so as and when you collect the reward uh, you reach the goal state so at the goal state you have to maximize the reward so you have to accumulate that so for that particular thing we have g is equal to g plus reward so we start initially with zero then you accumulate with the reward and then uh, after some particular time period or after some iterations or after some episodes we have to use the word episode in this reinforcement learning uh, then you will reach your goal state so that signifies this particular statement then what we do is uh, we just print how many steps are uh, taken and with a total of how many rewards so this particular syntax you are very much familiar so this also we have discussed in the basics video this is nothing but the replacement operator so you know this kind of things are very much useful not only in uh, the speech to text conversion also in reinforcement learning scenarios where we use in small places so we just format with the counter and the g so the counter variable so i'll just print this so uh, this particular agent now this is in a random setup so we are uh, making the agent behave in a completely random way so there was no hard code algorithm or steps we were uh, trying to incorporate into this we can do that but for that we have to make changes in the environment since that control is not in our hand since we are using this taxi v3 so whoever is the developer they have made the changes in this and so since we are only uh, liable to make this or we are only able to run this we can't do anything with this but since this is a random approach with this uh, we have done so what we can 
infer from this result is that the agent solved in 4189 steps with a total reward of minus 17146 so here just if you know the agent went for these many steps so now these many steps if a particular uh, agent is doing means a randomized self driving autonomous car if it is taking these many steps so that steps is very high so our goal is to like the minimize the steps and maximize the reward so somewhere in between it is taking some incorrect paths or uh, the reward which it is getting that is more over a negative reward as compared to positive reward or the positive reward in between it has been completely lost that's why the reward is in the range of negative so you have minus 17146 that is very bad so obviously we should not do anything in a random way instead we have to define some uh, steps or in a disciplined manner so that we can reduce the number of steps and also we can maximize the reward this uh, reward can be in smaller number so we are not concerned about the uh, digits how many are there in the uh, reward but it should be something but it should be positive so minus 17000 is very bad so we don't want this so we abolish the uh, random approach in this particular scenario so we then move forward and uh, we now use the q learning that is quality learning that is at each step we want to make use of the quality movement so that it will reach the destination with minimum number of steps and with maximizing the reward so now what we do is we just formulate just for a very one episode means we are uh, doing the training for only once so episode can be considered as your epoch uh, in deep learning or in your machine learning your training or the iteration so these things in reinforcement learning this terminology is called as episode so for one episode we are training the agent and we'll see how the q value changes and uh, we'll see how the math is done here okay so i'll just open this so first uh, if you remember uh, in the q learning video i have discussed you have to initialize the q table so you have two things q table and q function so q function is an extension of bellman equation so that is completely mathematics it depends upon the reward and the discount factor uh, but our q table will consist of all the possible states with all the possible actions so all possible states so that we got from here so state this particular portion will correspond on the rows or it will reflect on the rows and on the columns what you have is the actions so whatever actions you get here that is six different actions these things so these things makes your q table so first you have to initialize the q with uh, np dot zeros so it will create an array so you know about these things we have discussed in numpy arrays so you can see it is a array of these many states and these many actions okay so now what we do is we just define the hyperparameters so first is the episodes so for how many episodes we want to make this agent train or in how many episodes will this agent learn the particular environment so here we are just putting one let us see how this can be improved over the time period and then we have g that is goal state that is g is equal to 0 alpha is the learning parameter or the learning rate that is again a hyper parameter that we are introducing here uh, we are putting the value 0.168 that is completely random it's upon you you can change this and tweak the parameters and change and see how it will affect the agent in reaching the final goal state and also the rewards whether it's maximized or minimized okay so then we move uh, forward and we just implement a for loop so for each episode in the range of 1 so 
we are initially starting the episode from one and the number of episodes. So here episodes, uh, what we are doing is uh, from one plus one, that is two. So it will just on do only for one episode. Then later we'll change this and we'll see how it is done. So we are just implementing a for loop with the help of range and done initially is false. So done is nothing but uh, your final state whether it has reached or not reached. Okay, so whether the agent was successful in picking up the passenger and uh, making them reach the final destination. So here currently we are uh, making this as false. Later when it reaches or when it is successful in making the passenger reach at the final destination then we will change it to true. The goal state and the reward initially it is 0, 0. Then uh, what we do is we just uh, reset the environment whatever is there. So this kind of activity you have to do uh, whenever you do the new iteration every now and then because sometimes the old iteration might be there in the system. So it will try to pick up the old uh, environment variables and old environment states and then it will try to do learning on that. So that can cause a kind of uh, other deviation in learning your agent. So we don't want all those things to happen. So that's why we reset the environment. Then uh, the first state, we initialize it to state. So whatever current state is there, that is my first state. So it can be considered like uh, the cab is there at this particular location. So regardless, this is uh, an example that I've taken. The cab can be anywhere. So since it is not driven by human being it is automated so it can be at any place so it could be like uh, it has picked this particular customer and it has made them reach here so now if you initialize this uh, or if you call this taxi from this particular location this will be its first state as opposed to before this was the first state so for that we have to initialize the state to first state then we'll just print what the initial state is or initial state was and then we just implement the uh, while loop what is there here so while reward not equal to 20 if it is equal to 20 that means it has reached the goal state and the action that we want to do that is dependent upon the state so dependent upon each of the state it has to maximize the actions that it want to perform then uh, we initialize a state to variable reward and done and info we just put into action so the current action that is from the first state it will take the second step or the second state then it will uh, get the reward then it will check whether it has reached the destination or not so here it is false if it is the destination then it will be changed to true and the information current status of that agent that we have to encode uh, in the action so this particular thing which you see here highlighted this is done uh, at each step so at one particular point of step this is executed then uh, we uh, do the queue learning or queue learning since you know it takes two parameters or it's a function of two things state and action s and a and uh, to this we add the same thing again so for that we have this plus equal to so that means q of state action is equal to q of state action plus we have the alpha that is the learning rate that is 0 0.618 uh, then we multiply the entire thing with the block so that block if you remember from the video the conceptual video of q learning we have the reward and with that reward we have added the max that is nothing but your uh, so this is another function which is present in numpy so it will uh, maximize whatever value is there present inside uh, that particular uh, system so uh, in that you have your q state to minus q state and action so this thing which you see on the right hand side that is the older one and this thing is the current one that is a new one so if you want to have more details over this 
you can watch the q learning conceptual video there i have discussed each and every bits and pieces of this uh, thing in detail then once you perform the q learning here then you have to uh, update your reward uh, once you reach the goal state or whenever you are approaching the goal state you have to accumulate the reward and maximize it and then you initialize the state to as your state so now whenever you are uh, repeating this action again and again until you reach the reward state uh, you will be starting in that particular position so just to make you understand say uh, it was at this particular or the agent taxi was at this particular location then it moved to this particular location so it had some kind of uh, rewards say a reward of 5 units then it moved to this state now this state is the new state from this state it will move to some other location now this location uh, or the navigation is in this particular uh, notation that is upward downward left and right then it will move to some location it will probably have some reward say here also you have some reward and until it reaches the destination you will get the reward plus 20 and finally it will drop the passengers off at that particular location so that is this uh, entire uh, block what is doing we'll just run this uh, uh, okay uh, we have not run this okay so initial state here now it is 162 because we have just uh, kept the episodes as one so for one episode the initial state here it is saying it has 162 it is completely random inside uh, the environment how it is there then the final state let us see what is the final state so final state is 410 okay so here let us see uh, here also we had the final state so this is a state and okay we just have defined the state here so now since what we have uh, done is we have trained our agent for only just one episode that is not enough we have to train that particular agent for multiple episodes so even if in the case of human beings also whenever we are going to one particular strange location which we are not familiar or to one particular location or to one particular city we have to do the training or we have to go to that location every now and then or whenever we get time we have to visit that so we do a, a long drive or short drive to that location so that it becomes easier and also it becomes easier for us to understand what are the other possible alternatives which are there in that particular pathway so similar is the case you have to teach the agent just with only one episode it will not learn in anything you have to make at least learn to 500 or 1000 episodes that will see how the uh, change of episode will make the agent converge to that particular goal state so it has a very powerful impact okay so first we look at the first state so here we are just uh, implementing the algorithm again and again so here we'll just look at the final state okay so here the final state is 410 first it is 162 final step is 410 the Q table how it basically looks after all the iterations calculations it looks something like this so wherever you see a negative values though that means you have some negative rewards okay so now this was the uh, illustration or the impact of just having only one episode now we want to run over multiple episodes and let's see how we can convert an optimal policy or what is the optimal path in uh, gaining the maximizing the rewards and uh, also uh, with minimal number of steps so here what we are doing is we are keeping the episodes for 3000 so instead of one we have to now 
he did it for 3000 so for 3000 episodes it will learn that particular environment and it will try to improve how it can maximize the reward and then you have a list so in list i am uh, putting a reward tracker so how much reward it has gained so far after it has learned uh, from all the 3000 episodes so that is what the reward tracker signifies the goal state is zero alpha again i am taking it as 0.618 and then i am just uh, running over the same loop block again so entire thing remains the same and what here i am doing is if my episode uh, mod 100 is equal to equal to 0 so i am checking the remainder so from every episode i want to get to know like uh, what is my reward so that is nothing but in one episode i'll get one reward right so at one particular position say when i went from this particular position to here so okay in this particular scenario i get a plus 5 reward in this i get a plus 6 reward in this i get a plus 2 and in this i get plus 20 so i just want to print all these things so episode mod 100 is equal to equal to 0 so in the first episode that is on the 100th episode now since this is uh, 3000 it is too much so we are not printing episode 1 episode 2 episode 3 we are not doing that instead for every 100th episode after every 100 episode how much cumulative reward we are getting so we want to get that so it will basically print the list of that so in the very first uh, 100 episode it has accumulated a reward of minus 157 in 200 it has 4 300 it has 2 okay so you have some positive reward some negative rewards and until it reaches 3000 it has a total of 12 so uh, what we can do is uh, we can just print this reward tracker and we can see whether uh, how many reward we have got so far so it is empty because we are not appending this thing uh, we have just initialized this thing we have to append to this reward tracker every now and then then we can get to know uh, how many total rewards are there in this thing since we are not currently updated we have just uh, kept a list of this we have to append that so that same thing you can just uh, make out from this particular steps so uh now we can see it has maximized so the maximum thing you can see positive reward so what if we did say instead of 3000 we just uh, only did some 100 episodes so in just 100 episode because uh, it is very small uh, we'll keep it as 1000 we'll see how it changes this particular scenario see uh, we got all positive rewards and the best thing is that we want to visualize this thing so in visualization we'll get to know at uh, how the agent basically performs in this so we just reset the environment done is equal to none while done not equal to true so we take the action with the highest q value so if we have the highest q value we go with that and we have this simple thing so it follows from the above so all the same things are there we'll just call the render function so in render uh, basically Uh, this is the initial setup how it looks like so you have r y b and g so currently you can see in the bracket it is the location of that particular uh, cap so yellow represents your 
cab or taxi so y is the pickup location and g is the drop location so first from this particular position it has to move to the left hand side so for left we have the convention west so it will move to the west it will again go to the south okay it goes to the south again then once it is in the south it will do the pickup so once it has picked up the passengers it has changed the color so now uh, it is in green so the cab you can see it is in green now it is uh, contained with passengers now inside the cab you have the passengers so that means pickup now in pickup uh, with this uh, green cab it is now moving up so that is the north again to the east so it can do the movements so from this particular position it has moved to north now again it can move to north and then it can move to uh, the east side and then it can go up but it is done all internally so it is making minimal number of steps and then it is trying to do this so either if you move from one step again here or if you move to multiple steps here so that has some kind of significant effects that will change uh, and see how it is affected with the help of the episodes so it all depends upon the episodes so now it is moving to the east then again to the east uh, then once it is reached here now it has to move to the uh, north so it is moving north and north again up now it has reached the destination and now the cab is again back to yellow state so that is the drop off so uh, these two lines are uh, nothing but you are uh, doing the object serialization that is for object oriented uh, thing so that is not much important so you are using the pickle dot dump and pickle dot load so write binary and read binary in that format so the uh, major thing that i want to bring to your attention is the uh, convergence at what particular point of time will this particular uh, algorithm converge so that heavily depends upon how much your episode is so now instead of uh, say 1000 i have 5000 episodes and we'll see how does this affect our q learning algorithm okay it is disconnected okay now it is connected is not run okay okay so we have all the maximum rewards and uh, we'll just run this again okay so now it is in the south then south so here also uh, the pickup and drop location is uh, completely upon the environment so it is just random so here the pickup is at the cab originally was at the location at this particular point of time at this coordinate it has to move to south in order to pick up the passenger drop off location is at the red so it will go to south uh, then it will move to the west it will pick the passenger and pickup is done then north 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 and then it will drop off so as in how uh, you change the episodes and tweak with different parameters different learning rates you get to know how the agent learns that particular environment so this is a small demonstration of the q learning algorithm with the help of uh, python codes and also the open ai gym library so well that was all regarding in this video so hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are new to this channel please uh, do subscribe and if you have any comments or doubts regarding this please feel free to ask in the comment section i will be more happy to help you and thank you so much for watching this video